We are on the Fox River. This is uh, one of the dams on the Fox, on the earlier Fox, here to catch a giant fish, and hopefully we can nab one. The nice thing about this dam is there's actually a fish corridor where fish can easily come down. So anything you catch below the dam, you can actually use above the dam because they do have this corridor for so fish can travel freely. So let's get our baits in the water. We'll catch some bait first, and then let's get some fish. Gotta go for some gills first. Water is really low this year. Um, they have to throw towards those branches over there. And uh, this is uh, quite a bit lower than the fox was at this time last year. But that's not really a surprise, I guess. Every river is like super, super low right now. So uh, yeah, let's just throw a little bit further out there and hopefully I get a hit. I think I got one. What is that? Yep. So I'm looking for bonafide bluegill bait that will do very well for gotho fishing. All right, we have this big, happy bluegill on the line. Just gonna throw them out there. Hopefully a big catfish picks them up. All right, my friends. This is what it's all about. Fox River at Princeton, we want a big fish. Oh man, this one is pulling. This one has a slight pull. But it, there's nothing on there. What is pulling on this thing? Is that the bluegill? Actually, no, wait, my, my drag isn't tight enough. There is a fish on here. Yeah, it's fighting. I just, my drag just was not tight enough to pull it in, but now it is. And it's, it's not a bad fish. It's not, might actually be pretty big because my drag was just not big enough to pull it in. I thought like the bluegill was like stuck or something, but just, I just needed to tighten the drag. This one is a very small uh, rod. I think it is a flat, yep, it's a big flathead. Flathead gato fish, that's why. Flathead catfish. Oh, it's, it's gonna fight, it's gonna fight. I'm gonna have to tire it out. Definitely gonna have to tire it out. Oh, it's worth, worth, was worth coming here. Worth coming here, man. Princeton Lock and Dam. Definitely worth everything and worth the bugs. I gotta be careful not to lose this fish because it's, it's pretty big. I think it's like 20 plus. First big flathead of the year, actually, for me. And big flatheads, their bites are like really subtle. What the heck? My bad, guys. The, uh, the light just isn't... I wish it had bitten my bigger pole because this is only 20 pound braid. And I just have to like fight it a bit. Yeah, you see, it's it's big. It's a, it's a big one. It's probably like 18, 20 pounds. So since it's on my smaller pole, we're gonna have to just let it run like that. But hey, at least I got one today. Oh, I have to bring it in to actually get one. But hey, at least uh, I hooked one. Flathead gato fish in the middle of the river on that other thing. Hope it doesn't break my pole. I've actually never reeled in a large flathead on the small pole. It's always been on one of the larger ones. Yeah, that one's 20 plus. Definitely. Definitely 20 plus. Eh, maybe like 18, 19. It's not like as big of the one at the Dells, but I'm definitely gonna have to tire it out. Otherwise, like, this, this line I feel like is gonna break. Ah, oh, come on, fish. No, 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 Don't go near that. You don't want to go near that. Actually, I'm sure it does. I don't want it to, though. I do not want it to go near the falls. If it does, I'm kind of screwed. Now it's going to try to get stuck behind that thing. I have to... Oh, come on, don't do that! <laughs> it's definitely trying to go near the falls, and I can't let it do that. If it goes near the falls, I'm screwed. This is us. Oh no, dude, it, it came off. No, 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 it came off, how? That, my friends, was devastating. That was like a 25 pound fish and it got away. Ugh. hopefully I get another chance tonight. Look at that pole go, that is 
going to be a fairly large fish. I think it's going to get stuck with my other pole though. That's on. Feels like a good fish. I'm hoping it's a flat though. Could be a channel. Definitely could be a channel. I have to bring it over my other pole. The last one that got away was really, really big. It was a big one. So I'm hoping this one is just as big or at least somewhat comparable in size because I would be very disappointed if it was kind of small. I think it feels like a decent size. I don't think it feels quite as big as the other one, but that's because this is a bigger pole. And it could actually be a channel, by the way. It bit. I cannot let it go over there. These always fish want to go over by the, uh, by the stream over there. Yeah, this one's smaller. I can see the silhouette in the water, the one I just lost. It's a channel. It's not a flathead, unfortunately. Man, I really, really wish I got that first flathead because I don't know if I can get a ch another chance. It's another, uh, it's probably like, probably like six, seven pounds. Not too bad of a fish, but nothing compared to the one I lost. All right, channel catfish. Man, oh, oh man, it's still, I mean, I mean, it's, it's not bad. It's not bad. Huh. It is like my recovery fish from the one I lost. You know how you have like a, like a bounce back? Like you, when people get dumped, they have like a bounce back significant other. This is like the bounce back fish. Yeah, so I'm calling it my bounce back fish. But hey, it's not bad. Oh, this one's pretty beat up. Probably from, uh, I don't know. Yeah. All right, channel catfish, channel guttlefish. We'll take it, we'll take it. One bounce back fish. Not as good as the flathead, but we'll take it. I mean, what else can we do, man? What else can we do? Come on, fish. Ups of daisies. Yeah, probably like a six, seven pound fish. All right, it's like a five and a half pound channel catfish. Disappointing after that flathead loss, but I got a fish at least, got a fish. All right, this fish is still good and lively. We're gonna put it back in the box. It's kind of a skinny channel catfish, honestly. Really skinny guy. I'll see you later, fish. For the time being, while I acquire more bluegills, I will just throw a giant blob of worms out there. That'll work. And hopefully that'll give me a fish. There's something on here again. The worms got something. I don't know what it is. I think it might just be a drum. It's, it's fighting whatever it is, and it's on the other side. Uh, no, it's not. I just have to slide it under it. Just a freshwater drum. This is why I don't use worms, because there's a lot of these here. Don't want to cut this up. But yeah, freshwater drum. Yeah, see a drum. All right, we got a small bluegill on a hook. Let's throw him out there. I see a muskrat over there. Let's throw this guy out here. And there we go. Hopefully he catches a big fish. I have stayed here all night. And finally in the morning, I think I got a pole. I think it just let go though. Oh no, I got it, it's on. That's definitely not a flathead though. At least I don't think it is. Doesn't feel that heavy either. Oh man. I stayed all night waiting for a flatty, but I think that's just a small channel. It's not, I don't know, it's growing, but it's darting, which flatheads generally do not do unless they get really close to shore. Now, if this ends up being a flathead, I can be vindicated for losing that one like earlier tonight, or it's, it's a little bigger than I thought. Oh, it's, it's actually pretty heavy. It actually might be a pretty good big fish. It's stuck on something though. It's definitely a fish. I just it's stuck on something. Okay, I think I pulled it. Okay, there's no. No, 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 I still got it. Okay, it's not a big one. It was stuck on something, so it seemed big. Is that a flathead? Nope, it's a channel. 
the channel. Oh, I really wish it was a flathead. But hey, it's better than nothing. Uh, thought it was a channel by the way it was fighting. And the way it originally took off. But at least early morning, got some channel catfish. Still kind of pissed off I lost the uh, gigantic flathead, but another like five pound fish here. Not too bad, not too bad. I don't know how I'm gonna bring it up though. It's interesting, interesting. Uh, thought it was actually pretty huge, but it probably just got stuck in a rock or something. Channel catfish, Fox River. And uh, yeah, it's probably the same size as the other one, around four or five pounds. But not as exciting as a gigantic flathead I'm after. Come here, fish. It's gonna take me a little bit longer to reel in because I don't have my net. My net's messed up anyways, so I'm just gonna have to uh, yeah, just get the cat here. There you go, channel catfish. Morning catfish, probably four or five pounds. About the same size as the one I caught at night. Toss him back in the fox, see a fish, and he'll be fine. He's uh, it's pretty deep there. All right, I'm gonna toss one out there. If you're actually like a bass or pike fisherman, this place is awesome, like right before dawn. There's like splashing like everywhere here. There's like tons of bass and pike here. But only before dawn. Got something. Got something, it's lively. I think it's another channel. Pulling a little bit of drag. Early morning channels might be my last fish here because I'm about to leave at seven in the morning. Haven't gotten sleep all night. Probably won't sleep today, but it's worth fishing. Just kind of angry I missed that first flathead because that would have been nice to get. I think it's another channel, pretty sure it is. See the silhouette in the water and oh, that's a channel. Unless it's like a bass or a pike or something. I know they'll pick up bait when it's shallow, but it's not shallow here. It's actually fairly deep here. So I think it's only catfish that will pick it up. But it's like the third channel for this trip. It's not bad. Well, third, yeah, third one. But there's a lot of them here. You just throw near that log jam over there. I'm sure there's a big flathead in there too, but I can't get it now because they don't really bite during the day. Kinda got to hang for Princeton a little bit more. Oh, nah, yeah, about the same size as the others. But the giant flathead actually bit this t small pole. I was hoping it'd bite my large pole. This is 20 pound braid, the other one's 50 pound braid. That, one, that fish is definitely over 20 pounds. Not that I can't catch one over 20 pounds on 20 pound braid, but yeah, I just I'm somehow threw my hook. It's pretty deep here on the fox, actually. Even right next to shore. Plenty of places for big fish to hide. Another channel catfish. They're all about the same size, about five pounds. Five pound channels. It's taking my whole bluegills. Flatheads, looks like they only bite like an hour or two after dark and then they don't bite the rest of the night, unfortunately. I actually did switch from right above the dam to like the tip over here, the tip point over here. I'm sure there's a lot of lay downs and I'm sure there's a flathead in there somewhere. I just, they just haven't bit. Channel Guttlefish. All right, channel, come in. There you go, channel catfish. Nice little channel, same size as the others pretty much. See a channel, boom. Water's like 10 feet deep there. It'll be fine. Well, I just got done tossing a couple lures, didn't catch anything. I think the fish time thing is really, really good here for lure tossing and like bass, pike, but f the fish time thing does not work that well for uh, catfish. Best times for catfish, for flatheads, two hours after dark, an hour or two after dark. Channels, early morning. Those are the magic times. So, caught three channels, lost one giant flathead. Wasn't super giant, I think it was like 25 pounds or so, but I did lose him and the hook just popped out of its mouth after fighting for a little while, which is kind of weird because I fought him for like three minutes and then the hook just popped out. Uh, but I did catch a couple of fish here, caught a drum as well, caught several bluegills to fish with. So very, very nice place, Princeton Lock and Dam, lovely place as well. So yes, that's uh, it for today. 
Like and subscribe, hit that bell notifications button, and hopefully next time I won't lose the large fish.